All right, guys. So these are a second gen, a third gen, and a fourth gen dashboard. These are the last dashboards my son says he wants me to do. He says uh, it takes too much time. He doesn't want me to do them anymore. So and I might do some on my own time, but for the company, I will not. So we're going to start with the second gen. I'll start here. You got your gauges. I don't know how good this camera is, this telephone. But this is the one with the lights on it is speedo gauge not well I don't know what is that fuel gauge and then more lights got the uh, headlamp switch wiper switch your TCP original radio oh, oh I just noticed the knobs match oh okay yeah oh, that's neat uh, you got your ashtray there. Uh, let's see. Yep, it's got a little lighter in there. And uh, the glove box. Monte Carlo symbol. You got all your vents. You got your lap cooler. I didn't put it on because I didn't want it to break when I was moving it. These things are heavy. Oh, yeah. And your e-brake there you go e-brake cable ready to just stick inside that hole all right let's go over the top these are not new dashboards these are just refurbished dashboards i uh, refurbished them i fixed the cracks using a flexible urethane there you go there you go Hope everybody can see this. There you go. All right. Okay. In the back, you got your ducts ready to be hooked up. Your TCP, plug it in. Uh, got all your wiring here. Get this out. All the connectors. I haven't cut them. There you go. Every one of them. All your connectors, all the way to your fuse block. Got your brake switch there. You know, all your connectors, your grounds. There you go. Alright, that's the second gen. We'll go over the top again. Alrighty. There you go. Alright. Alright, this one is, uh, what is this? This is the third gen. Third gen Monte Carlo. This one has all gauges. Center vents. OEM radio, TCP. Now this originally had Monte Carlo in it. I took it off because maybe somebody buys a Malibu, you know, and they're like, hey, I want it for a Malibu, so I left it off. All right, show on top. There you go. All right, let's go in the back. Again with this one, full wiring harness. Notice all the wires. There goes your fuse block right there let it hang with all the connectors for it now though I think the only wires I saw here that were cut were like for the radio okay yeah see this I left a pigtail on here for the original GM I hope you guys can see it I'm, I'm pointing to this stuff these connectors the original GM plugs all right and this person had a had a different kind of radio in here you know see that some kind of aftermarket radio anyways you got your well I don't know this TCP TCP temperature control panel there you go all your plugs 
Now this is supposed to be way over here. That goes to the speaker. And uh, that's the courtesy light. There goes the thing for the, the connection for the glove box light, I guess. Back up some so you can see. Oh, oh here, here's the... I left a pigtail on this one too. Notice it's not cut from the dashboard side. It's cut from the firewall side. This from that side. That's the firewall side. That's the dashboard side. I just left the pigtail on so you can see how it's connected. Alright. So there you go. Alright, let's do another pass by. There you go. Alrighty. It's not perfect. You see that? Look at that. It's not perfect. But, you know, it's better than a busted up dashboard. Alright. This one has a lap cooler as well. There you go. A lap cooler. Alright. Show the front again. Oh, yeah, it has rear window defog. There you go. All right, last one. Fourth gen Monte Carlo. This came out of a 86 SS. And 115. It has uh, obviously the speedometer, odometer, and tripometer. That, that's this thing, you know? Wait a minute, where's my finger? Here. That's this thing. It's for that. Tripometer. And then you got your gauges, your tack. This one came with a right hand remote mirror. That got sold with the mirror. And that's for the rear window defrost if you have it. If not, use your old uh, bezel. There goes your TCP. I'm going to go into more of this empty space here in just a second. That's the light for the ashtray under there, you know. And then the bezel. It says Chevrolet on it. Got your glove box. All right, before I go to the top, I'm going to go down here. This car came with this aftermarket radio. It looks like a, a Sony, and it has a bunch of stuff on it. iPod, USB something, Pandora. I don't know what that is. Anyway, it's a radio. This is what it should have come with. Whichever one you want, if you get the dashboard, you pick whichever one you want, you got it. That, that, this is what came from the factory, you know. It's Del Corimi. This, yeah, it's some Japanese stuff. All right, let's go around to the back. All right, we're in the back. There you go. Your fuse block. Any connectors there. Ground, you know, this one. This one goes uh, to the right there by the e-brake. There you go. Oh, here goes the connector for your uh, your instrument cluster there. There goes some more connectors. You know, these these look like uh, the cruise control and the the brake switch, yeah. And uh, maybe this goes to the ignition switch there. You know. All right. And uh, you got a bunch of connectors over here. Right there, uh, all of this stuff. If I could get it out, there you go. All right. Yep, yep. TCP goes the cable for the TCP. TCP is temperature control panel, and uh, that's the electrical connector for the TCP. And uh, there goes the thing for the glove box light, speakers, and all the way to the computer. These these two go to the computer. All right, all right, all right. Let's start from the top and work our way down. All right, and let me back up some more. I want you guys to see everything. Hope you can see this. I can't get that high. I hope it's focused. All 
right. Now, there you go. All right. Come back. It just dawned on me, this is going to look screwy on the television. I mean on your computer because I'm turning the phone. But I'm trying to get around it. Okay, so that's all three of them. These are the last three that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to try to sneak in a cutlass one that's been in storage forever and a day. And then after that, I sit for Mr. Keith. I'm going to start over again. Just a quick brief. Alright, look at that. That's your second gen. Second gen Monte Carlo. Alright, second gen Monte Carlo. I'm gonna make I'm gonna take some pictures too. Some guys might say, ah, you talk too much. Get out of here. Give me some pictures. So there you go. This one has everything. It's, it, it doesn't have the, the what do you call it? Gauges. It has the dummy lights. I got one with gauges in it. But I got an instrument cluster with gauges. I guess if you want that, yeah, give me a few bucks more and you can get it. Uh, this one is the third gen. Uh, let me start this way. This one is 73 to 77. Monte Carlo. I think it fit, might fit in the El Camino in Malibu. Not sure about that. All right. This one, 78 to 80. This is called the third gen dashboard. And I believe that, I swear to God, that dog. Anyways. This one fits in the 78 to 80 Monte Carlo, Malibu, El Camino. That's it. And the last one, the fourth gen. Second, third, and fourth. There you go. You got the SS, all the SS gadgets. There goes TCP. There go the radios. Alrighty. Uh huh. Alright. Cross over the top. Again, these are not new dashboards. They are far from being new. These are 30 and 40 year old dashboards that I refurbished. Used to do it many, many moons ago. I still get a kick out of doing it. So. And there you have it, boys and girls. For your consideration. <laughs> All right, you guys take care.